It, it looked at how humans write and it learned how to do it itself. April 15th, 2021. I've been playing with GPT-3. How do I describe this? It's a generative pre-trained transformer. <laughs> it's a transformer. It's an auto-regressive language model that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. It's like AI for writing, basically. Developed by a company called OpenAI. I've been hearing about this language prediction model for a while and how it's going to completely change change everything. It's the start of the automation of creativity, which is actually really good for creators. It's gonna allow creatives to be more creative. Now, if you're skeptical, I understand. It sounded crazy, it sounded like wild, but now that I've been using it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> now there's a company that allows anyone to play with GPT-3, it'll write for you. It's, you'll be a writer. Log in. There's all these different options. You can simplify a sentence, create a viral idea. Like for example, I just put in wake up in the morning, I hit create, loading, boom. Now it has all these viral ideas. Create a mobile app that helps users wake up in the morning. Or you can tell it to create a value proposition, generate that. The ultimate morning routine is meticulously crafted based on scientific studies and my own success. Now you may be thinking, is this just uh, plagiarism? Like no, it's not. If you Googled the sentences that it's writing here and no one would have written them before, it's actually creating new original writing writing. You can put blog ideas into this. They just came out with a feature where you can add a bullet point list and it'll turn that bullet point list into an essay. Sometimes it's kind of nonsensical. Sometimes it's spot on. And often you just have to change a few things to make it really good. It's already a better writer than I, I am. Well, for certain things. We have this list here. Here's the list of different things you can tell it to do. There's shower thoughts. So here we, it's generating shower thoughts. The things that give you the most energy to start the day are different than the things that keep you going. Oh, hello. What do you think about the shower thoughts? Oh, Athena wants to say hi. And give you sales copy, writing tools. It's pretty amazing. It's blowing my mind. Athena is a mongoose. Mongoose alert. She's a mongoose. Hi, mongoose. How are you doing? She's doing well. So the service Copy AI has some of their own technology, but they're also using GPT-3 to create this. First way I've seen for anyone to be able to leverage GPT-3. Before this, it was kind of locked away behind closed doors. It reminds me of the early days of GarageBand loops. When I was like 12 years old, I'd make songs in GarageBand using the pre-made loops. I'd create song structure, the beginning, the chorus. It was really fun, but it was also very creative, even though I was using pre-made sounds. Now, of course, eventually I wanted to kind of break free from that, start making my own, but it was a great jumping off point for me. And it taught me a lot about how to edit, edit audio, create a song, copy AI, which is building on top of GPT-3. They're creating the equivalent of GarageBand loops, but for the written work, for creativity. I just showed some random example, but you can put in what your company does and it can give you sales copy that's actually really good. Of course, if your job is a writer, you might look at this and be a little bit like, whoa, what's going on? But honestly, I think it's actually going to allow writers to just write more because these tools can do the heavy lifting on those initial ideas, initial written word structures. I mean, GPT-3 has analyzed massive data set of text online. It, it looked at how humans write and it learned how to do it itself. That's why, you know, everything it's creating is actually original content based off of what it learned from us. So it's like a reflection of humanity. It'll just allow creatives to do more. Already I've been using it in some fun ways. I've been, I've been creating Snapchat spotlight videos where I kind of generate a random script and then I perform it. Social media campaign where T-Mobile dares its customers to hit someone with a pineapple. So that's been fun. What's that feeling?